Wild Sheep Foundation presents Sheep Shape. Patrick Scroggin has just landed at Ram Head Outfitters in the Mackenzie Mountain Range of the Northwest Territories. He's wasting no time preparing for the hunt. He begins to dial in his gunworks rifle to be sure it's still accurate after the long flight. A few hundred miles to the east, Rick Carone has landed in the waters of a remote Yukon Lake. He immediately begins sending rounds downrange with his muzzle loader. He's joined by his guide Jessica Young from Midnight Sun Outfitters to help tune up his weapon ahead of the hunt. Okay, Rick, that's uh, 104 yards. In the black right above, right? Yeah, you're actually pretty that much dead high. on. Just an inch high? Yeah. Pretty good, though. <laughs> I'm feeling good about that. Yeah. After dialing in his muzzle loader, Rick takes a few shots with his bow before saddling up to begin his hunt in the morning. Well, for this Midwestern boy, I'm not used to it being light at 10.30 at night. We're about to put ourselves to bed here. What can we expect in the morning? In the morning, we're going to wake up pretty early. Um, we're going to round up the horses, saddle up, pack up, and ride away. And we're actually going to, we're just going to go to the end of the lake, and we come around the back side of that knoll. and It's going to be a, probably a five-hour ride tomorrow. We'll ride through a lot of brush and a lot of terrain. We'll see a lot of country. Go. So we'll go over the pass and we'll be right into sheep country. And we're ready to rock and roll. Awesome. I cannot wait. It's going to be good. Can't wait. After a quick rendezvous with the team from Ramhead Outfitters, Patrick Scroggin has taken to the air and route to his first camp location. He will need to quickly set up his shelter before night falls on the Northwest Territories. All right, so this is day one of the hunt. Uh, started early this morning in Edmonton and then got on a, a 206 and flew into camp. A lot of wind, um, but it was neat. It was, uh, you know, flying through the mountains. Just the, this is beautiful, beautiful terrain up here. It's a beautiful country. I uh, saw some sheep coming in. Um, so I guess the plan is we got to wait 12 hours and then uh, we can get after them. All four members of the Sheep Shape Band of Four have set up camp and settled in for some much needed rest. Chad Hall was welcomed to the Northwest Territories by swift winds and torrential downpours. He's looking forward to some shut-eye before tomorrow morning's hunt. It's the first night. We're stuck in a rainstorm uh, in our tents right now, so we're just going to wait it out. We won't be able to start hunting till the morning. Uh, my emotions are running pretty high right now. You know we're. Pretty excited to get out there and, and uh, start looking for some sheep and hiking up and down the mountains. And we've been training for this for four or five months, so we're prepared, we're ready, both mentally and physically. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go get them. <laughs> 